Hello beautiful Virgo, welcome into the Gifted Hermit. If you are new to the channel, what is up? My name is Leela, I reside in London, UK and I'm also a Virgo. Shout out to my returning subs. You know who you are, I appreciate you. And thank you so much for listening to me, interacting with the video. Again, this is my main source of income. I really work hard and you guys interacting with the video really does pretty much put food on the table i can push my pride aside now for any of you guys that's been watching me for a while you know that i have been doing this for a good few years now i'm dedicated to the channel and recently i said you know i may have to step away for the mere fact that i'm struggling financially now my true virgos my true true virgos ain't afraid of not having a partner or a love person you know what we're afraid of is being broke and I, I rarely say the b word b r o k e i said it once i'm not going to say it again okay we don't use those words in this household so a general love reading but again let me thank you all for the continued support all the super chats all of you that sent me a donation um i was able to like again put, pushing my pride aside i was able to fill up my fridge fill up my freezer me as a mother um to my two children if i can't provide for them that is just like no but it's okay because the universe is on my side you guys really came through for me and i'm just gonna get straight into this i've wasted enough time okay please remember to interact with the video you can do so by smashing the thumbs button subscribing leaving a comment sharing all of that jazz who's just thinking about you the first question i asked i pulled out the cards we have the king of cups cancer pisces scorpio um we also have Libra, gemini aquarius here now whoever is that's thinking about you they don't have to be a water sign what we get is somebody here that is emotionally intelligent this is the type of person that will talk about how they feel ask how you feel it can also be the type of person that says all the right things especially to the females you know this person's got a sparkle in their eye you can look in their eye and almost like go deep within like you can see their soul through their eyes maybe i'm exaggerating anyway this person no matter their sign is thinking about you before they go to bed at night when they wake up in the morning this is the type of person where you are reoccurring in their mind there's also fear here confusion confusion about maybe how they feel towards you confused about where this connection will go the moon card does talk about fear it talks about anxiety confusion we will clarify these energies because they can completely change when we do a reading so yeah with regards to who is it that's thinking about you to summarize it could be a water sign it doesn't have to be they're thinking about you quite regularly and there's some sort of confusion anxiety fear of the unknown who wants Virgo? Who is it that wants Virgo? Scorpio energy here. I've been walking. Who wants Virgo? When my face turned to the sun. Who wants Virgo? Weight on my shoulders. A bullet in my I got eyes in the back of my head. All right, let me show you. <laughs> Judgment card, Ten of Swords, Queen of Wands. This is somebody that is almost alert in by you, okay? They find you to be very attractive, very independent, very feisty, Virgo, okay? This is somebody that sees your power. We have the Ten of Swords here. So there's some sort of ending betrayal um feeling like they've been stabbed in the back this is somebody that really i feel has uh, mental difficulties right now if that's a phrase if that's a word the judgment card shows me that they're realizing something here maybe realizing that they can't be without you maybe realizing that they messed up okay 
and it's like they're realizing you know if i don't do something virgo's going to get snatched up mm -hmm. like what a man what a woman who truly loves virgo we have the chariot card here it could be a cancer it could be somebody that's completely different from you upbringing culture ethnicity you know Let's see if i can get that in there yeah who truly loves virgo mm, ten of pentacles this is somebody that i think feels that there is growth here with you this is somebody that i feel wants a committed connection the ten of pentacles talks about growth prosperity legacies like if I love Virgo and I can win with Virgo. We also have the Strength card here, Leo Energy, and the Magician card came out. There's somebody here that I feel is a very strong character, very courageous, okay? The Magician card signifies talent here. It signifies somebody that has got a lot of potential. It also signifies Gemini and Virgo Energy. So we're going to clarify, but with regards to the person that loves you, what I see here is somebody that sees your compassion, sees, sees how skilled you are as an individual, sees how much you care about your family, sees security, stability with you, okay? Well, duh. <laughs> right, going back to who's that's thinking about you, what are they thinking about? Why is the Four of Swords here? Why is the Four of Swords here? And then at the end, we'll see what comes towards you in love. Why is the Four of Swords here? In regards to the person thinking about Virgo, why is the Four of Swords here? The Chariot card, okay? There's somebody here, Virgo, that I feel the energy is a bit scattered. They kind of, I feel at times don't believe in themselves or almost beat themselves up king of swords very logical energy here very blunt energy here i think somebody's due an apology or what they're wondering if they should apologize page of cups talks about messages texts feelings the chariot card big cancer energy here coming out on the table um the chariot card in the reverse position is somebody that lacks self-discipline somebody that has a tendency to speed up past other people's needs going in the wrong direction wondering if they're doing the right thing wondering if they're doing the wrong thing here okay you know so for some of you guys there's a person here that withdraws their emotions just like that with the hit of a button things can seem so great and then all of a sudden the energy can change and i feel like there's no talking here as well like okay with regards to the person that wants Virgo, why is the ten of swords here why is the ten of swords here Ooh. The Justice card in reverse. I judged Virgo wrong. Um, maybe there's a person here that are, that is realizing that they made a wrong choice. They treated you badly. They judged you wrong. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Karmic situations here. For a cup, somebody's bored. Somebody's frustrated. You know, Virgo, you may have just decided to depart, um, detach from something here. You know this king of wands see what i'm getting here is ego you know the, and hopefully they're realizing that their ego got in the way they detached um it's almost like they got themselves mad they got themselves upset like i really feel like this is all on them okay with regards to the chariot now with regards to the ten of pentacles and the person that loves Virgo, why is the ten of pentacles here Somebody had to learn the hard way. Ace of Cups, you know, so with regards to the person that truly loves you, there is a lot of emotion here. There's a lot of feeling here. This could be with somebody new. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? 
Six of Cups, this is somebody that you know from this life or a past life, wanting to reconnect with you. Maybe this is you guys' opportunity now to build. Wow. Fated connection here. So with regards to the person that truly loves you, it's coming through thick and strong that you guys are, or at least in their minds, meant to be together. Okay? Whether it's both of your energies, but someone's thinking here, you're going to be the change. You're the change that I need. Mm -hmm. Let's see what's coming towards you in love, shall we? That's nice to see, you know, whoever it is that loves you. They, they believe that you guys are meant to be together. You know, maybe this is the type of person that comes in and out of your life. What's coming towards Virgos in love? The world card was coming towards Virgos in love. What's coming towards Virgos in love? What's coming towards Virgos in love? Page of Swords. There's somebody here that is waiting. There's somebody here that's got their eye on you. There's somebody here that's had their eye on you. They're waiting. They're waiting for this happiness, this happy ending. Maybe it's you, Virgo. Maybe you're waiting for your happy ending. And I feel like there's a person out there that is feeling the exact same way as you. Why is the Page of Swords here? Again, waiting, patience, something to do with patience. <clears throat> Why is the page of swords here? And maybe they find it very difficult to wait. I feel like this person is very guarded in energy. I feel like this person doesn't want to give up, however. Nine of Pentacles as well. This person's single. This person is trying to keep positive. And for whatever reason, they're needing to be patient. Patient with their selves, patient with other people. Something here to do with forgiveness. Okay. So for those of you that are single, man, I really see a, a connection here that's meant to be. And with regards to the person that's thinking about you, there is some grey areas. Okay. I see someone manifesting you into their lives. Maybe you're doing some manifesting too, Virgo. Okay? But yeah, that's what I have for you. Please remember to smash the thumbs button. I love you guys. Thank you for the continued support. Remember, you can book me for a personal. Follow me on socials. Catch me for live tarot. From one Virgo to another. As I always say, be kind to others. But most importantly, be kind to you. And have a productive and fantastic week ahead. Love you guys.